back. Welcome back to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. I'm Allison, and welcome. It's Travel Snacks. It's Travel Snacks Sunday, and hello. <laughs> All right, so let me see who's in the house. And first of all, let me change this to all the chat instead of just top chat. Hey, Grant's in the house. Grant is our moderator and he's been around forever and ever and I appreciate him so much. Happy Sunday, Snack Pack. Hope everyone in the US and Canada is enjoying the Labor Day a long weekend. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, hey, Joanna. Hey, Janet. Um, it was postponed. I was going to do this live stream on Friday. And then I realized it was a holiday weekend and there was a lot going on. And so I decided just to move it till today so that everybody could kind of just enjoy, you know, the weekend, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, and then kind of wrapping up today. I know tomorrow's the actual holiday for, um, what's this? What's this? <laughs> tomorrow's the holiday for uh, USA. I don't know if it's the same with Canada or in other countries. Um, but, you know, everybody's been celebrating and partying all weekend. So, I'll be talking about what I've been doing. My glasses are dirty. Uh, so, yeah. So, hello. Um, hey, Julie from Texas. Hey, Brenda. Hey, HGJ. How are you? Hey, Janice. A long weekend to do nothing. Yes. That's delightful. Uh, same for Canada. Okay, the holiday is tomorrow. Okay, cool. Um, it's a blazer. It's a blazer. Hey, Tracy from Saskatchewan. Hey, Honest Review from Minneapolis. How's it going, everybody? How is it going? Uh, I'm just gonna jump right in. I am sitting in the, obviously, clearly, sitting in the front seat of my van with the AC on, with the van running. And I have my Max Air Fan running, you know, up in my ceiling in the living space. I also have this fan pointing at me in the front. Uh, and listen, it's not even like one of the hottest days, but in California, even in some of the like spots that's usually not the most hot, there's an excessive heat warning and it's just hot. It's just hot. And I'm going to be talking about what I've been doing um, over the weekend. And I want to also talk about the video that I just released yesterday, which was talking about my upcoming surgery. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but it's, it's just hot. It's just really hot. And I just really feel for anyone living in vehicles or living in apartments or homes that don't have AC. Hey, Angela, how are you? Uh, it's, oh, I bet it is so hot and humid in Tennessee. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, Brenda says in Ohio, it's 69. I wish. Oh my gosh. Oh, 96 in Santa Monica. Hey, Monique, how are you? Awesome, awesome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Crystal. Awesome, welcome, welcome. So glad to see a lot of the regulars and some new people, awesome. Um, yes, hello, 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 hello. Um, so first things first, uh, it is, let's see, what's the temperature? My thing up there, my gauge says 95, but I think that's a little bit different than what's actually so I'm near San Diego and it's says it's 87 but feels like 91 which seems accurate um, but it's it's gross and sweaty Grant has 90 but smoky from the wildfires in BC oh my gosh I haven't even listened to or heard any news or anything so I don't even know what's going on I haven't heard I haven't heard anything on the news. I really haven't been on social media this weekend uh, or the news. I never watched the news. Hey, Zandra. Uh, Brenda said it's going to get hot again, so short-lived. Mm -mm. uh, maybe get some ice to put behind your fan. Oh, that's a smart idea. I do need to go get some more ice anyways just for drinking, so that's, I might pick up some extra. Um, hey, Fire. Uh, hey, Thomas. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Hey, PBR Doug, 73 in Pennsylvania. That I would definitely take 73. I would, because it feels very hot today. 
Monique says it's 89, but feels like 99 tonight in Fort Myers. Oh, Fort Myers, yeah, I bet. And that's probably humid too. So let me tell you what I've been doing. Um, so basically, uh, gosh, what am I? I'm like, I have so many things on my mind. I'm confusing so many things and I gotta think about the days. Um, okay, so for those of you that don't know or haven't watched the video, I'm gonna just share with you what's happening. I posted a video yesterday um, that's talking about an upcoming surgery that I'm having on September 15th, and that surgery is a, drum roll, hysterectomy. And it's, you know, like not the most fun topic for me to be talking about on my channel. Uh, it's obviously in my personal medical history. <laughs> but um, that's the reality of my life, and Honestly, the amount of messages I got, the amount of comments I got on that video yesterday from women that have gone through either similar situations or have had a hysterectomy or have had problems, it was, first of all, sad to hear all of that, but second of all, so many, so many messages of encouragement and I'd say the majority of the women have said it was the best decision they ever made, it was the best thing they got done for themselves. And so I feel, I'm feeling like a lot, a lot better about this whole thing because I've heard from more women than not that the, the upcoming surgery is probably gonna be uh, like such a relief to me. So um, we can talk about that. So if you have any questions about that, um, I'm pretty open in terms of sharing information. I'm mean, not gonna share every single detail of my medical stuff, but I am pretty open, so if there's any questions that you had while watching the video, or even if you haven't watched the video and you have questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, but in order for me to even get the surgery, um, I had to do a pre-op. So I had to dr drive from uh, San Diego to um, Riverside, California, which is about, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, and that was on Wednesday. So I had my pre-op appointment um, with my surgeon and during that appointment which i did record some of it so i'll be making an update video just i want to try to do an update once a week through my recovery to just keep you guys posted especially some people have mentioned that they uh, have been considering a hysterectomy and so i want to share some of the stuff uh, as i go through the recovery but anyways i have my appointment on wednesday um and so obviously during that appointment, she explains the whole procedure and I had like the longest list of questions to ask her. Uh, and then she prescribed all of the medications in advance. So I already picked up all my meds. Uh, so pain meds, uh, stool softener, cause you just never know. Nausea because I seem to have like, whatever my body just likes to be nauseous after any anesthesia or any surgeries or any problems. Um, so I already got all those filled, so I'm already kind of ahead of the game on that, so that makes me feel happy. Um, so that was Wednesday. So because I had drove, driven out to Riverside, um, and I, one of my best friends, Ivana, who's been on this channel plenty of times before, has popped into the chat many times before under uh, Two Sisters and a Cocktail. Uh, she lives in Northern California, but she was driving down here for her birthday to visit some other friends, and she's like, oh, you're gonna be so close um, to me now that I'm driving down, so why don't you come over to my other friend's house that I'm staying at, who I also know, and just, uh, you know, spend some time, and, you know, I don't really get to see Ivana that much because I travel so much. Um, so I was like, yeah, let me try to figure that out. So, uh, but she wasn't, come, she wasn't going there until on Thursday. So I had to figure out what I was gonna do from Wednesday night to Thursday night. And so I basically just, found a parking like a hotel parking lot but it was like 90 something degrees that night and I'm not even kidding you I probably slept four minutes that night because it was the most hot I didn't even run my zero breeze AC because I've been having problems with my battery it was like because I had my van in the shop um, for a couple days and with no Sun and I wasn't driving it the battery kind of drained down and I've been having a hard time getting it back going. Uh, so I didn't want to work, run the zero breeze and deplete my battery even further. So that night was the worst. I literally, this is like might be TMI, but 
uh, I never sleep naked, but that night, cause like, you're in a van, you know, you know, ne anything could happen. But that night I was almost, I was like almost all the way naked because I was just, couldn't even get cooled off. I was just like sweaty and gross. And I was like, oh, this sucks because uh, in that area, the heat wave was over 100 degrees during the day, probably like closer to 110, 110 Fahrenheit. Um, and that night it was still in the 90s. And when you're in a stuffy van, it's just like you just cannot cool down. So I only had to do that for one night. And then on um, Thursday, when she got there, I was able to go to her friend's house and go in the house and her friend has an extra room. So that took care of that. And so I was only gonna stay for just the one night, but then um, she was like, oh, you should just stay, you know, we'll have a nice weekend, blah, blah. Um, and so anyways, I ended up staying um, through the weekend with them and going to do some fun things, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, and that's one another reason why I moved the live stream because I never get to see my friend at Vivana and I don't really get to go, I never really get to go out with like girls nights or do any of those things. And I really felt like that would be so nice to just have like a fun time, you know? Um, so that was another reason why I moved it. Let me read some of these comments real quick. Uh, 106 in Sacramento. Oh my gosh. Um, maybe I already read that one. Okay, let's see. Hey, Louis. I just want to say hi. Hey, I may be in San Diego next month at my niece's house. Prayers for your surgery. Stay before the... Oh, awesome. Awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, 97 in Smoky Boise. Oh my goodness. Uh, fire, my van is back up and running. Um, so far pray like prayers to the Lord of just thanks uh, so far my uh, check engine light never came back on so I think in terms of fixing the evap fuel thing I think that problems fixed uh, I never got a new gas tank um, they couldn't find one um, I still have problems with the van I need uh, new um, wheel bearings, rack and pinion, whatever that is, some kind of steering thing, and some other things, some oil leaks, whatever. But since I'm getting the surgery in like a week and a half, I just decided to put it on hold because my van is gonna be parked for a few weeks. So I just decided to wait. I did get my AC fixed, which it's really freezing cold right now, so I'm happy about that. Um, but my van is out of the shop, and so far it's been running pretty well. I haven't had any problems, so just gonna thank God on that one okay let's see crystal says well we finally are having rain down in South Texas and it has cooled down to 79 but the humidity is very high so it's really still hot and sweaty oh yeah I bet yeah that humidity really pumps up the heat uh, Janice says I've never heard about those coils you know what's funny it's maybe not that funny but a lot of people haven't heard about it and I I'm, I'm glad for regular people like not doctors and stuff I'm glad that some people never got talked into them and never heard of them because I had never heard of them before. Um, and I'm glad that they discontinued them. Um, but a lot of doctors never even heard of them. Not A lot of gynecologists never even heard of it, which is very frightening if they, this is like a birth control procedure that a lot of other doctors are recommending and other ones have never even heard of it. it seems bad. John says it's Texas, so enough said. <laughs> hey, Edward. Uh, hey, Missy. 74 in Roanoke. It was so hot over the weekend. Welcome in the coolest. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. Um, oh, thank you, uh, Martin. One, I haven't gotten through all the comments yet for that video, so I'm going to be replying on some of those in a, a little bit later. Uh, so thank you for anyone that left comments, especially of support and uh, encouragement and um, just like experiences that you've had yourself uh, I appreciate that in advance oh thanks Kat G I appreciate that uh, Sharon says be sure and stay hydrated it's very yes uh, that's another thing I'm like really working hard to stay hydrated before I have the surgery and just I'm also still trying to eat really healthy because once I'm like recovering I'm not gonna be cooking a bunch of stuff so I want to keep like lose as much weight and be as healthy as possible when that day comes Genesis and and to think all this could have been avoided if that stupid doctor didn't convince you to go against your original plan yeah I know like when I think back if I think too hard about it I get really like upset about it because it's caused like 
that one decision has caused, you know, a ripple effect of other things. Um, and you know, the video that I posted yesterday was not even the whole, whole story because I was like, okay, this video is going to be an hour long. I need to condense. So I couldn't even go into all the other stuff that I've been you know, happening to me. I, I, that wasn't the only, those weren't the only doctors that I saw. There was other ones that I saw that dismissed me. There was another one that I had scheduled surgery with that, well, said he was going to do the surgery and then never scheduled the surgery. And I was like, well, I can't count on you if you can't even make a schedule. It was like a whole thing. And I've had other problems besides pelvic pain. There's been other things, um, you know, over the years that I think might be contributing from the coils too. So, I just look back now and of course there's like now, I think I'm smarter now than like 10 years ago, but back then I didn't really have the, the same, I don't know, I don't know the word, but now if I went to a doctor and they tried to talk me into it, I'd be asking a bunch of questions like, are you getting any kickbacks from this? Are they paying you to promote this? Are, you know, um, have you, how many have you done? Uh, you know, how many complications are there? What's the like statistics? And then I would do my own research and I would look up to see if there was any lawsuits. I would have done so many things, but you know, hindsight is 2020. And so now I'm just like, shoot, like I wish I would have had that knowledge back then because you know, you feel like you should be able to trust doctors, but the older I get, I don't, I don't, to be honest. Um, Oh, thank you so much, Grant. Yes. Oh, yeah. Throw a like on this uh, live stream if you're on this. And also, if you're not subscribed, you know, become part of the snack pack. Hey, Steven. How are you? Hey, Glow. Carol's in the house. If you guys aren't already following Glorious Life on Wheels, Carol, you should because she's like one of the best YouTubers and also just a great person in general. And her channel has a lot of great, awesome information. Um, I feel you, we don't have AC at our home base and it has been miserable. Oh no, oh no, Carol. Oh, that's the worst. Hey, Vander Woman, how are you? Uh, from another newbie van lifer in San Diego. Oh my gosh, fun. Uh, hopefully our paths will cross. I'll be in San Diego for another week-ish, week and a half. So that's awesome. Very exciting. Martin, I did medical transcription on Asia coils. Oh, oh, interesting. I live in Southwest Ohio. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, Denise, 69 in Forks, Washington. That's more of my speed, like 69 and 70s. Uh, that'd be awesome. Hey, Ann. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Janice says, doctors frequently dismiss, mis what? dismiss women. What's too bad that women doctors are equally as likely as men to dismiss you? That, I agree with that because there was many women that were like, no, you're fine. And I'm thinking, I mean, you have the same parts as me. Like, haven't you ever have any pain or any problems, you know, like it's real, you know, just because like pelvic pain, pelvic pain seems so basic. I think when you say I have pelvic pain, you know, people just go, oh, it's just like you're PMSing or you're just like, you know, it's your period time or whatever. And it's like, uh, that doesn't have to be the only reason why you have pelvic pain. There's other things going on. And I think they should take it more seriously. You know, I know that, you know, I'm not bashing doctors. I think there's some really great, awesome doctors that really do take the time to look into stuff, but I didn't have a lot of great experiences through that journey. So I do feel like I'm a little bit like, I don't know what jaded or whatever, because at every step, even though there was times where people were nice, they were fairly dismissive and they were like, you're fine you know, the coils are fine if, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, it's not fine. It's definitely not fine. Um, hey, Julie, a new subscriber. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. I was on, uh, Carol's live stream last week and it was awesome. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting Carol's channel. Oh, Carol. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Steven says, I'm doing great. I hope your surgery goes well and that you heal fast and are back to being healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Quirky. May the Lord work through the surgeon. Say amen to that. And this surgeon that I found, um, she's really great. Um, she's taken the time to like really listen. And there was a lot of questions that I had that I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm asking some of these questions because I got... Uh, I'm part of a group on Facebook. It's like the Esher Coil Problem Facebook group. Like anyone that's gone through any problems or even just has the Esher Coils. 
And so there's like thousands of women on there that they're always posting like about them getting their surgeries, getting them removed, any problems they've been having, their experiences with doctors, and many of them have been dismissed as well. Um, and so there's this database of questions that they ask, that they've written down to say, ask these to your surgeon before you get your surgery. So I wrote down a bunch of them that I felt was relevant to my personal situation. And so some of them I didn't even really understand, but I'm like, I'm definitely gonna get all my questions answered. And if a doctor or surgeon doesn't have time to answer your questions, that's pretty bad because I know that they have, you know, allotted times for your appointments, but also this is major surgery. So I was like, okay, listen, I have a lot of questions. And for the pre-op, the appointments schedule is for 30 minutes and that includes an exam. So I was like, okay, I'll talk fast, but I got to get all these questions out. So she's like, nope, no worries, no problem. Like we'll go through one by one. And so I asked a bunch of questions and one of the things that I really wanted uh, is um, I wanted the coils taken out intact. I don't want them clipped, cut, broken, anything. And I said, I want to see them. I want to know that they're out. I don't want to be uncertain once I wake up from that anesthesia. And so she's like, well, like your whole parts come out in one chunk, whatever, one piece. And we talked for quite a while and I kept circling back to that question. And then she's like, well, I've never done this before, but what I could do is I could take pictures as I'm doing the surgery to like make sure they're in still in the right place. But then when I pull everything out, I can um, dissect the tubes and pull the coils out. And I'm like, yes, please. That would be so awesome. She's like, yeah, I could do that. And I've never had a surgeon that would even like give me the time of day on that. So she was like, yeah, I can do that just to like give you peace of mind. So she's definitely gonna like do that. And um, I even asked if I could film it, the surgery, so I could put it on my channel. Well, depending on how much they show. Um, and she asked uh, like, cause I'm, I, go, I go to Kaiser, I have Kaiser for the insurance. Um, but the Kaiser like higher ups, they were like, no, cause like you'd have to get clearances from every, like every participant, like the nurses, the anesthesiologist, not just my surgeon, but anyone else is in the room. And as I'm like being wheeled in, if I get like other patients in the in the shot, it's a whole thing. And like, I, if I was gonna do that, I would have had to plan that like six months ago or like, like make sure all these clearances were signed. But my surgeon said, I'll be happy to take pictures though, like pre-op and post-op, like, uh, like, you know, when I have the little hair net on or like, you know, she said she'll take pictures of me and some of the stuff of the procedure and after I wake up she'll do it so I'll try to filter that some of that stuff in you know into like my update videos um, but I thought that that was really great of the surgeon to be uh, so accommodating you know and then um, during the pre-op this one I just had on Wednesday you know she does an exam and just make sure that everything's still in working order and nothing no problems were happening um, I also have to get uh, some labs done and I have to get a COVID test three days before. Um, and I pray to the Lord God Almighty. And if it, whoever's in here that's a praying person, please pray that I do not get COVID between now and then. Because if I get, if I test positive for COVID, I have to postpone my surgery for a minimum 30 days. Minimum. And I will be really upset because I'm already like, got a little plan of my, you know how long this is gonna take me to like recover and all things so I gotta get that taken care of um, let's see HJ well for whatever it's worth based on the pictures you've taken when you're sitting in front of the doctor I can tell your diet is thick thank you very much thank you thank you thank you uh, pelvic pain can be anything from infection or very cyst to endometriosis. Exactly. It could be so serious. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting that. Yes, if you would like to donate to the uh, snack fund, feel free to do it. There's the links. Uh, it's never required or, you know, any whatever. Feel free or, or not. It's okay. Um, but if you'd like to, those are the links. Um, and all donations are appreciated. Um, uh, Carol says, that is so cool to have a doctor who respects and listens to you. Yes. I was like so grateful to find her um, and she's really popular. That's another reason why her surgery calendar was booked out pretty far. Um, but she was very, um, 
you know, just like listened to everything I had to say and had a lot of like words of wisdom. And she was really, um, like she was like, oh, I'm rooting for them to say that we could do the, like the, the filming. But she wrote me back and she's like, no, they said no, but I'll take some pictures. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. Um, hey, Melissa. Oh, 67 in Canton, North Carolina. I want it to be in the 60s or 70s. It is too hot. Oh my gosh. Like I, so like I said, I was in Riverside, California and it was like over a hundred. It was probably close to like, like 110 for all the days that I was there, but I was in my friend's house. Um, so that was great. Um, so here's the second part to the story, um, which is whatever. It's kind of funny because I'm not the kind of person that goes out. <laughs> I'm, I guess, some, I guess some people would consider me boring. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Uh, I don't even eat meat. I know that's not like a party thing, but I'm just saying that could also be considered boring. Um, I don't really have like a huge friend group. So it was my friend Ivana's birthday, but it was also her friend's birthday the day before. So it was like a birthday weekend holiday celebration. So they were like, oh, we're going to this like pool party at this casino. And it's like a huge casino that has like this outdoor, like big couple pools and like a lazy river that you get the inner tubes and you float around and stuff. And so they're like, do you want to go? And I was like, uh, maybe. <laughs> Like, I'm just like such not a party person, but I was like, you know, I never go out. I never like get dressed up. I never put on makeup or do any of the things. So I was like, you know, yeah, I will go. And that was on, um, let's see what day are we on? That was Friday night. Um, but it like basically started at 9 PM started, started at nine. Bro, I'm usually, I'm in bed by like 9 30 or 10 a lot of times. <laughs> And so, you know, they were all getting cute with their bathing suits and, you know, bathing suit wrap ups and all these things. And so I was like, well, I'm not going to drink, you know, so I'll be the designated driver. So there was like five or five or six of us. I don't know. But the, the girl that I drove her car, she had a, like a third row seat. So all of us fit. So we drove over there um, and it was $20 to get in. That was another thing. I was like, listen, this is why I don't go out because I'm too cheap. I'm a frugal person. I don't like to spend money. I don't like to spend money on that kind of thing. But I was like, okay, it's an experience. I never go out with the girls. So we, you know, by the time we all got ready and stuff and, you know, you know how girls can be when they're getting ready, just talking and blah, blah. And they're all drinking and stuff. And I'm just like trying to get ready. Uh, I don't know how to do my makeup. I'm just like, whatever. So we drove, um, over to this casino we get there and the line is the longest line of America it's like so long and then we were waiting for quite a while and then they were coming through and they were like from here down all of you are not gonna get in there's a it's we're at capacity and we're like the heck we aren't we're definitely getting. we drove all the way over here because it was like a 30 minute drive we're getting in and so um, they had they're like well do you guys have tickets and we're like no we didn't know you had tickets so anyways, there was one lady going down the line that worked there and she had these vouchers and she's like, however many tickets I have is how many people are just going to get in. So luckily we were one of the last like groups to get vouchers or get tickets to get into this thing. So we got in, we paid our dumb $20 and they give you a towel. Um, I didn't get in the water cause I don't know. I'm not like into like getting all in the pool and stuff, but I looked kind of cute. I wore a bathing suit and like a little tight skirt, you know? Um, and then Ivana did my contouring, my makeup, because I don't really know how to do that. Uh, and so we just sit on, sat on the edge of the, of the pool, and I just put my feet in the whole time. And they were air, like inner tubing and going around the lazy river and drinking and stuff. And I was like the mother hen. I was like, okay, ladies, I'll carry it. Everyone's purse, put it next to me. Put your phones next to me. I'll carry, you know, and like their little like wraparounds. I had their little sweaters and backpacks. So I just hung out, you know, um, and after that, they closed that party, closed at midnight, and then they were like, oh, let's go to another bar. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm the driver. So I was like, okay, so we went to this other bar. The greatest thing about that bar is that 
on the side of the bar, they there's this guy that's like outside. Uh, he has like a restaurant, and so I guess every night he cooks on this barbecue grill. He cooks uh, street tacos and quesadillas, and so I was like, listen, I have been eating potatoes a lot, but I really feel like a quesadilla right now. It was like one in the morning, which that's late for me. So we got. They got tacos, I got a quesadilla, and it was so greasy, it was so good. Oh man, it was so good. And then, you know, in California, the clubs here have to close at 2 a.m. The last call is like 1.30, I think. Um, I know in other states, that's unheard of. You know, in other states, the bars are open all night till 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever, you can go and go and go. But in California, there's a hard and fast rule that you gotta have last call at a certain time, and all the clubs have to be closed by 2 a.m. So, you know, we stayed there until about, I don't know, 145. And then, uh, went, then we, you know, I drove them back to the girl's house and then everybody just kind of like, you know, did their own thing. Um, so I went to sleep at like after 2 a.m. And I felt like I had a hangover the next day and I didn't even have one sip of a drink, just water. So my body's not, I mean, my body's not cut out for that, um, for staying up late. So, uh, but it was fun, you know, just like being around other girls and like, you know, kind of dressing up a little bit and it was nice. Like I had a really nice time cause I never get to do that. Um, and then Saturday we just kind of lazed around, you know, I didn't do things. I used to, I try to take Saturdays off, uh, from editing and filming and stuff. So that was kind of a nice, just to be around friends and just kind of hang around the house. And, you know, we got breakfast burritos and just like hung out. It was great. But then. I ended up staying up with the girls talking till like 1 a.m. last night. And so I was on, you know, first of all, I didn't sleep on Thursday, was it Thursday? I didn't sleep Wednesday night because I was so hot and sweaty. I didn't sleep Friday night because we were out till 2 a.m. I didn't sleep last night because I was up till like 1 a.m. talking, yeah, in my mouth. And I'm so tired today. I am hit my limit, I'm so tired. And so then today, the reason that I am kind of, you know, cute a little bit is and I put makeup on today can you tell um, and I'm wearing a dress you can't tell but it's like a little tight dress um, is because to wrap up the weekend with this girl's birthdays uh, we went to it was a brunch but the brunches didn't start it was like they made reservations for noon I'm like bro, that's actually full that's a full lunch that's lunch um, but they had already had reservations because they didn't know I was coming for this weekend and neither did I. But they called and they said that they could add one more person. And this restaurant was so strict, you had to put a credit card down and if your whole party didn't show up on time, you would get charged $50. And so they were like, you have to make sure you for sure come. If you're gonna say you're coming, you have to come. So I, I thought that it was brunch. I thought it was gonna be at like 10, 30 or 11, but it wasn't until noon. And so I was like, well, I already committed to going, so I'm gonna go. Um, but, uh, it's hot. It was hot. We had to wait outside and they were running behind. So even though we got there early, we had to wait until like 30 more minutes. Um, and we went in there and it's a full on party. There was a DJ. The decibels were very high. I mean, you couldn't hear each other talk. It, I was like, this is more like a nightclub, not, not a brunch experience. <laughs> so like I don't know and it was pretty costly as well so the I think it was like I don't know uh, like the plates were like I think the cheapest one was like $15 but a lot of the plates were like 20 $25 and I was like you got this is why I don't go out Okay, and then it was unlimited mimosas. Like if you paid $30 per person, which I didn't, I'm not, I don't drink. So I was like, count me off of that. I'm not doing that. But uh, all the other girls, you know, they were like, yes, they want unlimited mimosas or whatever, which is $30 each. I was like, oh no. And so I got um, just like the basic scrambled eggs, roasted potatoes came with bacon but I gave them my bacon and then it came with a waffle so I had a pretty good by the time they got our order it was past one o'clock and so basically that's all I've had today is just that plate of food and the potatoes they put spicy whatever on it so I couldn't really eat the potatoes 
So I just had eggs and like a half of a waffle and water. And it was so loud in there. Like the most loud of all louds. But the music was good and the food was good. And the, the friends were fun, you know? So it was just a fun time. So I say all this to say, sometimes it's nice to like branch off of your norm. This is not a, like a lifestyle that I could do all the time because I am tired. I'm, I'm not young, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was super, super, super nice to be around like a friend group and go out and do some nice things. And I loved it. I had a great time. And you know, Yvonne is one of my best friends. So, you know, it was really nice to just hang out and talk and stuff like that. But now I'm back in the San Diego area. I drove back today after that, after the lunch or whatever, brunch, lunch. And so, cause I wanted to get out of the Riverside area because it was in the hundreds. And so now I'm here and it's still hot. And on the freeway, there's these signs that say excessive heat wave, you know, power down between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. And it's 5.30 right now. So it's just hot. It's just gonna be hot until maybe later tonight. So anyways, I really wanna take a nap and it's just too hot back there. So I'm trying to have my engine on and blow the cooler air there and have this fan on up there so that hopefully, you know, it can start to cool down before it's nighttime and I can go to sleep because I'm just tired. Um, let's see. 63 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Missy says daughter has stage four endometriosis. She has extreme pain. ER gave her a diagnosis. She went to her OB and he was a jerk. Told her all women with pain think they have it. Really? That is baloney. I don't I don't want to say baloney. I should have said something else, but I'm not gonna say a bad word on here. But that's terrible. Uh, that's terrible. I'm sorry she's having that experience. Uh, T.S. Uh, why not go to a cooler part of the country because I'm having surgery in like a week and a half uh, out here in California so I can't really go anywhere now. Uh, Julie this is not normal for San Diego to be this hot. It's an ex I guess it's considered an excessive heat wave um, and also be it's crazy busy out here. There's like people everywhere because of the holiday so I can't even go by the beach right now um, because it's all parked up. I can't even get close to the beach. There's a billion people everywhere and I'm also to be honest I'm not afraid of like COVID and stuff but I don't want to get COVID because my surgery's coming so I'm trying to like I know I just said I went to like all these places with these girls but even in that I was like washing my hands all the time and I was like kind of staying away from people um, so I don't want to really like keep putting myself around a bunch of people because I don't like whether it's the flu a cold COVID you know all the things I don't want to get any of the things I'm trying to just like whatever but it's just hot and I'm trying to get closer to the coast but it's too many people so I'm kind of like waiting for people to leave tomorrow um, not smoking not drinking the Millennials call it a straight edge that's me uh, Carol says each year over at over the past five to six years it's been getting hotter longer during the summers in San Diego that's true, actually, because it was hot last year as well. I haven't been here every year in San Diego, but my friends live here and they're like, gosh, it's been getting hotter and hotter. And you know, the thing is, is a lot of uh, houses and apartments in San Diego don't have ACs because it's supposed to be a more milder climate out here, but they're feeling the effects of that because it's usually not this hot, but it's gotten hotter. Um, AML Mac, 79 and Pearl, uh, Paraline, Texas feels like 84. Okay, still hot. Cool styles. I'm glad to hear I'm not the only person that goes to bed early. Yeah, um, Joanna always loves New Jersey. Awesome. Hey, Christina from Oklahoma. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting that. Hey, Wayne from Tennessee. Crystal says, I'm like you, Allison. I'm the oddball out. I don't, I don't smoke, toke, or drink, so I'm usually a designated also. Yeah, it was funny because my friends were when we got to that. Uh, like pool party thingy um they asked the person at the door they're like can she get in free because she's our designated driver and she should be rewarded and i was like i'm down with that but they didn't they didn't buy it they were like no she's still gonna go and enjoy herself at this party and i'm like i mean that's fair <laughs> but they did try to get me in for free because they're like listen designated drivers should be rewarded 
Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting messages. I didn't even see these. Hold on. Mm. Oh, PBR Doug sends uh, this for the snack fund. Oh, thank you so much, PBR Doug. I appreciate that very, very much. $20 from PBR Doug for the snack fund. Oh, let me give you a shout out. I don't know if this is going to work because I'm on my CarPlay. Let's see. That's loud. Do you guys hear that? It's coming through my speakers of my van. Cool. Hopefully you guys heard that. Um, and then, um, oh, Becky Anderson, $25. Uh, I think this is on Cash App. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Becky. That is such a blessing. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. Um, let's give you, uh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, awesome. 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 Let me just make sure this is Let's close this out. Oh, and then YouTube's telling me that we're live. So thank you, YouTube. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for the donations. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, hey, Chris from Arizona. Oh, I bet it's hot in Arizona. <laughs> Grant, that's so funny. And the comment, some of you guys made comments about the guy that, um, if you guys watched the video, this guy... He walked up to my van in the middle of me recording because I, I had my door open, but I had my this curtain. I like um, put the curtain like that way so it kind of covered the door so the sun wouldn't be hitting me in the face. And I was hearing this guy walking around to other cars um, asking people if they had bud. And I'm just like, please do not come over here. So I didn't think he was going to come over. And I saw him walking towards me out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh, here we go. And so in the video, it captured him saying, you got any bud? You got any bud? And I tried to ignore it the first time, but he got super close to my door and I was like, bro, don't, don't try to step your foot into my van. It's not gonna be good news for you. Um, so I opened the curtain I was, and he's like, please tell me you got some bud. This dude was hurting. He really wanted that bud. He, he was going. And so when I said no, uh, he walked right over to another, there was actually an RV parked like a few spaces down. He walks over to the RV. He asks, he's on the outside of the RV yelling into the guys cause he had his door open too, yelling in there like, Hey, you got any bud in there? You got any bud in there? And so I'm just like, I can't believe this dude is just walking around asking. And so that guy or whoever lives in that van, uh, RV was like, no. And so he went to the, and I could hear him. He goes to the next RV behind that other guy. And then uh, I recorded it, but I didn't want to put all that in the video because it like, wasn't about that. But the guy in the second RV gets out of his RV and he starts chasing that guy. And then they're like, he's like, F you, F you, don't be coming into my RV telling me about, but I'm going to call. And so he starts calling the cops, uh, the guy in the RV. He's like, I'm calling the cops on you because you shouldn't be disturbing people. And blah, 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 you know? And so I was like, oh my God, they're about to fight. And so the guy that wanted the bud was like coming towards the guy and I'm like oh they're they're about to throw blows at each other um, but they just started like yelling and cuss, like cussing each other out uh, I don't know if the guy ever got his bud but he was really really on one like he was really trying to get it and no I don't have any bud Grant I don't have any bud the kid I finally it finally cooled off here in Texas seems all the heat went to California I mean that seems accurate hey Amy Honest review, street tacos, lenguia, never tried them. Is that the tongue tacos? I may have, I don't know. I've tried a lot of different things, but I don't remember. Um, heard that loud and clear. Yeah, I did record that part, but then after that part, there was more parts that I didn't leave in the video. Um, the guy was asking if he had some bud, yes. 106 in Arizona. Yeah, that seems right. Hey, Mariposa Travels from Arizona. That's awesome. Hey, Milo's Fan Adventures. Yes, I can. Escape either. Escape. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, it's too hot. Van Woman. Yes. We never had this kind of heat before. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Chris says, don't know what bud is. I don't do drugs. It's uh, weed. Marijuana. The weed smokes is like I call it. 
Uh, the guy in the RV was a Nancy Reagan supporting retired DA agent, maybe. Hey, Butterfly Tracks, how are you? Uh, he should come up here. There's a cannabis store in every corner. There's there's cannabis. There's dispensaries everywhere in California. Like, literally, and they deliver. So, I mean, he didn't seem like he had a home. I'm not trying to be mean, but he seemed like he was, you know, on foot, like walking around, you know. 78 in New Mexico. That's pretty good, though, 78. But, yeah, there's a dispensary everywhere here and you can get it delivered like Domino's you know they'll deliver to your house in 30 minutes or less I'm just making that part up but you can get it delivered uh, and they have every strand strain whatever they call it every kind every ailment you have apparently they have you know if you have depression if you have anxiety if you have back pain if you have sleep problems if you just want to be hungry if you don't want to be hungry they got it they have it all they have gummies and lollipops and brownies and whatever I, I've never been in there but I've heard from other people that have been in there uh, they got all the things so I don't know why he didn't just walk down the road because there's a maybe he got kicked out I don't know but he seemed like he was hurting and I'm thinking was he trying to get like weed for free from somebody maybe that's what it was but he was just trying his best to get some weed smokes for free Oh, Brenda, that's funny. Should have said, no, I'm a cop. He would have been gone in two seconds. Oh, I thought he meant Budweiser. Oh, no, I don't have that either. I think the heat may last through September, at least until October. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. The The one benefit to me getting the surgery is my surgery is on September 15th. So I'll be at my parents' house after that for a few weeks. So at least, well... Because my mom doesn't like to run the AC. But I'm going to be like, listen. I'm going to milk it with this surgery. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, I'm in so much pain. I need the AC on. I need cool air. But actually, I'm going to um, I'm gonna bring this fan. Uh, remember we used to do that when we were kids? Uh, um, I'm going to bring that fan into my parents' house. And I think I'm going to go to Walmart and get another box fan. Uh, just to like keep the air circulating in that bedroom. Um, because I'll be in there for several weeks and you know it's still gonna be summery so it'll still be pretty warm uh, my mom has gotten better about using the AC so I think I'll be okay with that but uh, I'm to be honest I'm a little glad that I won't be in my van because it's been so hot this summer I'm not gonna do I don't think I'm gonna ever do another summer in my van it's just I can't I'm over it I doubt you get $3 off if the delivery is late. That's funny. No, I don't think you do. Hey, John. Just stopping by to see what's going on. Hello, Howard. Thank you. I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Martina won. Yes. Uh, yeah, tongue tacos. Not for me. I don't know if I've had it or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, Ladybug. I'm just tuning in. Where are you? I am uh, near... I'm in the San Diego area. I'm in... Um, they call it Northern... North County, San Diego, like in the Carlsbad, Oceanside area. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Um, oh, thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't feel like nervous in the sense of like scared nervous. I'm just that little, like that little feeling of like, you know, anytime you go under, um, it's actually getting cold in here, but I don't want to turn my fan off because it's going to be blazing hot. Um, anytime you go under anesthesia, like full anesthesia, and, you know, they're putting you out and, you know, you're depending on other humans to, like, do what they do, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of, like, I hope you get a good night's rest, you know, and I always pray over the surgeon's hands, uh, you know, and I'm always like, okay, Lord, you know, you guide every step and every move, uh, so I'll be praying about that, um, so I'm not like scared, but you know, I'm just a little antsy about how it's gonna all go down. And you know, I I can hear about like how the recovery is gonna be, but you don't know until you do it. So I don't know 100% like what's the recovery. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard that the recovery is quicker than four to six weeks. Like, you know, some women are like, oh no, like, it wasn't even that long. And then I've heard from people, they're like, you're gonna need the whole six weeks. Uh, so, 
I really don't know, but I'm giving myself all the time I need to relax and, you know, uh, rest and let my body do what it needs to do. Like it's, you know, it's repairing parts that it's had my whole life, you know, so I'm just going to take the time that I need. I'm not going to try to rush it, but uh, I do appreciate all the prayers and all the, um, like, well wishes and everyone that was saying, like, oh, I've been through it and you're going to be fine, because that does encourage me. Uh, and then, you know, it'll just be what it's going to be. So, yeah. Butterfly tracks. I've been cool all summer, even cooled at night. And, oh, yeah. New Mexican Mount, New Mexican, New Mexico mountains. Yeah, that's awesome. I was trying to spend more time up in, like, the mountain states and stuff. But I had to take care of some family issues. Sold on. Uh, I think you will be surprised how soon you will recover. Awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping. I, you know, of course I hope that it's faster. Um, you know, and I do pretty well with like pain and stuff. Uh, let's see. Hoping for the best outcome possible. Thank you, John. Thank you so so much. Um. Yeah, I appreciate all of you. Um. I wanna. I I uh, like what uh, Carol does on her live streams she she says something like if this is your first time on a travel snacks live stream put a number one in the comments uh, I always like to see like who's showing up for the first time um, because I, I recognize a lot of names in here so it may not even be any new people uh, but if you're brand new to the travel snacks live streams uh, put a number one in the comments and then everybody can welcome you uh, because you know, we're a very welcoming bunch and we like to support each other and encourage, encourage each other and stuff like that. So I love that. I got a lot, I've been getting a lot of good tips from Carol from Glorious Life on Wheels. Hey, Julie Hansen and SMM. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, and John Darwin. Welcome. Okay. So we do have some newbies in here. Thank you guys for being here. We are happy you're here. Part of the snack pack. Grant says, I'd be nervous. I've never had surgery or spent a day in the hospital since I was born. That is wild to me. That is wild. Colette says, 103 in Northern Utah here for work. The man is very hard to live in. Get to go back to Wyoming in two weeks. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh, 103. Oof. Try to stay as cool as possible. Um, oh, Joanna's new too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yes. Oh, April from Connecticut. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Grant, you're not new. <laughs> Grant's trying to sneak in. You can't even sneak in with an OG. That that's, defeats the whole thing. That's tells you that tells you away. That gives you away. Uh, HJ, I had kidney surgery the night before. I had to fight back the urge to not write a joke where the doctors were making the incision. You want them serious? Yeah, yeah. I know. Sometimes I'm like thinking about little like pranks or whatever, but like. To make a mistake. All right, we got a couple. Uh, no, HGJ, you're not new. Uh, Echo Twin Systems is new, though. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Shane. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're just talking. We're just talking about my upcoming surgery. Oh, thank you, Chris Reed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The kid is laughing. Oh, gee. Grant, I'm old. No, nah, you're not old. You're just old to the channel. Uh, you've been around a long time. Uh, SMM. I just watched your Mary's Mini. I'm intrigued, but how the heck do you not do oil or butter? I'd love to kickstart uh, and more energy though. It's not easy because, you know, I was used to using butter and oil and I love butter. I don't care about oil, but it's so much easier to like coat things in oil or like start something off with oil, but I just didn't. I just stopped using it and I would use like veggie broth or whatever instead or you know a lot of times you don't even need oil I think we just do it because we're in a habit of using oil but it's pure fat oil is literally just 100% fat um, and I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the whole existence of everything um, I mean it kind of is but it's not like you can still use oil but for me I've cut out as much oil as I can I try not to use oil because it's sometimes not even necessary we just use it out of habit um, and then butter I did give it up for the Mary's Mini and I've had some butter uh, since then, but again, I'm trying to just to cut out all the things that I just subconsciously just do. I don't know if that's the right word, subconsciously, but anyways, 
you know, sometimes we just do things because we're in a habit of doing it. But I, I started thinking like, you know, why do I eat some of the things I eat is because I'm just used to doing it. So, um, so yeah, I think you could just start where you can. Airpods of travel. I really appreciate your honest transparency. I had my miracle baby after three years of TTC after having Morena removed. We have to be our best and first advocate. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Uh, and absolutely. Yeah, definitely advocate for yourself or if you have somebody that can go with you and can be like your voice, that's also amazing too. Uh, Chris says, I guess you could call me a noob. I'll call you a newbie. Uh, Martina, if you get a box fan where you can hook a hanger on it, you can hang a damp towel on it with the fan on a folding chair, it makes cool air. I did it when I lived in Jersey and couldn't pay the apartment AC. Oh, that is a smart, smart little trick. Um, yes, everybody welcome all of our new friends, new snack pack members. Open fridge door with fan in front. That will cool you down. Ooh, that's a good one too. My, my, my uh, little mini fridge has been working overtime. Like it's not even that freezing in it. Like it used to be pretty cold and I've had to turn it down up just to even like get it a little more cold because some of the stuff in there isn't that cold. And I'm like, shoot, it's so hot that my, my little fridge is not like running efficiently as it should be and that's kind of bumming me out so I've had to throw away a lot of things because I opened it the other day and there was some mold on my salsa I'm like how does salsa get mold on it like it must have gotten warm enough in there for it to grow some mold so I don't know I got to get out of this heat with my van is like uh not loving it but you will have to eat fast though yes <laughs> Have you tried putting your vehicle under a tree shade? I saw someone in the van and no shade nearby. Um, so it's tricky. It's tricky because when you have, when you're, when all the things in your van are powered by solar, you have to stay in the sun so that you can get power, this, you know, power from the sun to charge your solar panels so that you can continue to power everything in your van. But then you want to park in the shade to cool yourself down or to cool the van down. So you kind of have to like, you know, maybe most of the day you're in the sun and then part of the day you can go under the shade. Uh, but for the most part, the, sh the solar panels will trump the shade because you need power. So if you have enough power and you can look at like your little control chart or charge controller or your <clears throat> whatever, like little meter thing, you know, you can kind of get a gauge of where you're at, but a lot of times you've got to stay in the sun. Snack pack. The majority of the world is going through a heat wave right now. That's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm thinking. And last year was the same way. Hey, Mark. Oh, you got your shirt? Oh my gosh. Hey, if any of you guys buy Travel Snacks merch, um, send me a picture. Uh, a lot of you did. I'm gonna start posting some of these pics on the community tab. Uh, I love the pictures. It, this, it like makes my day. Uh, a lot of you got the stickers and you like held up the stickers and sent me pictures of yourself. And that was really awesome. Um, Crystal has a water bottle. She sent me a picture. Um, and anybody that gets any merch, any t-shirts or tank tops um, or water bottles or stickers, take a picture and either email it to me or send it to me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, Cause I love to see, I love to see your faces. And it's really like, it's really weird because I see all your guys' names but I don't know what a lot of you look like. The majority of you, I don't know what you look like. So it's like, I'm just talking to names. So when I get to see your faces, I'm like, oh, I love this person, they're so cool. Like I never got to see what they look like and it's like making a friend all over again. So if you guys have any like, even if you don't have merch, you could send me a picture, that'd be cool. Uh, Shane says, uh, gotta go back to work now, but hope all, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping in. I'm oh, sorry, I see. How about carrying a canopy uh, to open it and maybe chilling with a foldable chair outside? It was 110 in Mission Viejo. My window frame was even hot to touch it for him. Yes. But yeah, Mission Viejo is it's hot right now too. Yeah, you can definitely do like canopy, you know, shades, you know, do whatever you can um, to stay cool. Thank you, Grant, for posting that link. Mark says, I look like a dime worried to post my pitch. Pick a dime. No, I'm sure you're fine. 
Uh, awesome. I'm glad you got it though. I'm glad you got it. Um, all right. So we are just about at the top of the hour. Um, also, uh, I'm just taking all of Carol's great ideas, but if you are a person in this chat that has, is a content creator that has a YouTube channel, go ahead and just, uh, put like a waving emoji or, uh, a number two, I guess, cause we already used one. And then that way people can just look at your name and they can know that they can go follow you on your channel as well. Cause I like to sp spread around the support. Um, that's what I want Travel Snacks to be known for is a welcoming community and for all of us to encourage each other. You know, I'm not saying that you should just follow people blanketly if you don't care about their channel because I don't ever expect people to watch my channel if they don't care about traveling and stuff. But if you do, you never know. You can, people can post their little uh, like waving emoji or number two right now if you're a content creator and people can go follow you as well and build up your channels. So I like to spread the support around. Um, because you never know there's like so many different channels okay random nomad if you if you're in a dry heat make a swamp cooler unit. yes that's also a good tip um, echo twin systems we just had rain thunderstorms in Canyon country oh my gosh ladybug one hen, 110 emission viejo that must be the hottest it's ever gotten I think so too all right so random nomad and crystal and La Gringa, they have uh, channels um, Mark says, I'm still trying to name my dang van. You know, to be honest, it took me a million years to name this van. And I, I don't want to say it too loud because I do love Simon. But I don't even know if I'm, like, sold on that name. But, it, I mean, that's the van's name. But the van's, my van's name is actually, because I still couldn't decide, it's Simon Aileen, what? Simon Eileen Fantasia Sharp the Snackmobile. It's got multiple names. But there's times where I'm like, does Simon even fit this van? I feel like I want to call this van Vantasia or Eileen. So, you know, but I don't want to confuse people. But sometimes when I'm in the van, I will say Vantasia or whatever. Because, I don't know, sometimes I feel like the van has masculine vibes and sometimes I feel like the van has feminine vibes. So, I don't know. It's just a van, but you know what I'm saying. It's... So take your time is what I'm saying, Mark. Okay, Mariposa Travels has a channel. Um, hey, Motorcycle Randy from Michigan. No, Grant, not that kind of number two. Um, Joanna says, thanks for your live. I love your channel. Thank you so much. Um, I was thinking Melvin. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, my God, that's a cute name. Oh, my gosh. You should, that's a good one. I vote for that one. Fantasia is good. Venetia, that's a good one, too. By the way, I love your bloopers at the end of your... Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'll continue to do those because I can never make a video without bloopers, apparently. Uh, your van is non-binary. I mean, it is a, it's an object, so I guess that's fitting. Mine is just blue girl. That's so cute. The van may have multiple personalities. I definitely think that's the case. This van does whatever this van wants to do. For sure. Um... Let's see, what date are we on? We're on September 4th. Um, I'm so all over the place. I have so many things I gotta do before the surgery and so many appointments. I, um, as a little sneak peek for the ones that are on here on this live stream, um, I already filmed one interview and van tour with a girl I met out in San Diego. Um, then on Tuesday, I'm doing another interview and van tour with a woman that lives in a minivan. On Thursday, I'm doing a, another interview and tour of a van that's a two-story van. And then I'm supposed to be doing another interview and tour with somebody that lives in their Jeep, but he's still trying to get it together. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to that one before my surgery, but I've been busy trying to film all these things so I can edit them and get them ready to post when I'm recovering. And plus I'm trying to get regular videos up. So I'll do as much as I can before the surgery, but I'm feeling a lot of pressure to get a bunch of videos out before this, because the first two weeks of my surgery, I don't, plan to do any editing or video filming or um, live streams because I want to just focus on my recovery 
So this week is gonna be the most busy week of all. I'm telling all my friends and family, I'm not gonna be able to just chit chat on the phone or do all the things because I'm I'm filming with a lot of people this week, trying to prepare. So if I'm a little bit not as communicative on the channel uh, before the surgery, that's why. Uh, I will still plan to do a live stream maybe on Friday. If that gets canceled or postponed, please just bear with me because I'm just trying to get as much done as I can. Um, but I will try to do one at least Friday or if not, maybe Sunday. Um, and what else? And then I have a bunch of things to do. And like I said, I still have to go get my blood work done and a bunch of things. So um, that's what's basically my whole life is doing right now is just trying to prepare for the surgery. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have noticed I've been posting on the community tab like a would you rather every day because I thought that would be super fun. We used to do them during the live streams and I'm sure at some point I'm gonna bring the games back but because there's so much going on I just kind of decided to do a would you rather on the community tab which seems to be really popular because like everyone loves to answer the polls, the poll questions and it's so cool to see everyone's like different answers um, and everyone like that doesn't fit in one of the like poll questions they like they'll post um, a comment and I think it's really cool for me to see that. There was something else I'm trying to tell you, but I'm, I can't remember what I was gonna tell you. Um, I don't know, I'll think of it, probably right after we hang up off of this. Um, Brandon says, I don't have a channel, just watch everyone else. That's great. I realized last night I had no brake lights or turn signals. I thought that was special. I may have said a few curse words. I mean, that's fair, Mark. John says, I truly hope all goes well with your surgery. Thank you, John. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Mark and Grant, a two-story van. Yes, a two-story van. I, I actually saw this, pers this van in person and I actually walked up and I was like, uh, is that a two-story van? He's like, yep. <laughs> and so we talked for a long time and I was like, I'd love to do an interview with you and I'd love to film your van because I think uh, the snack pack would love to see that. Um, it's kind of a fancy van too. It's, uh, and actually he rents it, rents it out too. He rents out his van to other people. So I was like, shoot, definitely. So I'm excited to film that one. Uh, thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you. Rick's Gypsy do a Q and A video. Ooh, yes, I might, I might do that. Honest review. Started watching your channel last year. Thank you for airing your travels. I've been considering van life for a while now. Thinking next year I will start. Oh, awesome. Oh, I'm excited for you. Uh, Crystal says, well, my van's name came from my van being green and I am La Gringa that married my Hispanic husband. So it's La Gringa. I love that. Marta, this 70 year old is winding down. Have a good night, Elena. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, yes, let's see. Awesome. Shanti Shanti you'll be able to edit after a couple days, no lifting or standing for two months. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I actually, I know that I probably can edit, but I don't wanna stress myself out because even even though like physically I might feel okay to like, you know, be on the computer and edit, um, there's a lot to be said for your body just resting and not having any like extra stresses. And when I, I'm trying to edit a bunch of videos. It takes hours upon hours. It's like a full-time job. So I'm really trying to take the first two weeks to just like take naps, rest, eat healthfully, take little baby walks just around the house and just really like be as calm as possible and not stress. Because when I work on videos and stuff, uh, I try to, I, for those of you that have been watching for a while, I think I always try to take on too much. I try to do all the things, too many things. It's just, I guess, part of my personality. But uh, I was like, okay, you need to try to calm down. I might get too bored and I might still do it, but I'm really trying to like not do anything the first two weeks just to like relax. But good tip, good tip. Uh, Mariposa Travels, do you have a PO box for Get Well? I don't. I keep saying I'm gonna like look into that, but I think it's like the cheapest one is like $30 a month, and I'm like, do I wanna spend $30 a month? I probably don't, uh, but I'll think about that. Salt, summer, fruit. <laughs> uh, Mark says, maybe you could go live more during recovery, seems much easier. So 
uh, once I go past those two weeks, I probably will be doing more lives because I'll be laying in bed, so why not? Um, resting without sleeping is called beautiful. Oh, I never heard that, but that's awesome. Oh, where's my chicken? Um, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we've gone a little over an hour, um, and so I want to respect you guys' time, especially on a holiday weekend, um, and... Like, I, there's so many things in my head that I want to tell you and I forgot already. I'm looking around to see. Um, well, I guess I could just post a community thing if I remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember. It's all part of my brain fog for getting ready for the surgery. So, uh... <laughs> I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your weekend. For those of you that's a holiday, I hope you, you know, have some relaxation or some fun, depending on the type of person you are. Uh, I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm not really that hungry because, you know, I just kind of ate like a lunch brunch. Um, but I do want to get something because I know I'm going to be hungry in like an hour. Um, I have potatoes, but I'm not, I'm not eating potatoes. This is gonna be like, I'm gonna wrap up today with maybe not a healthy. I've been craving pizza, so I might go get pizza. I might do that tonight and then get back on my potatoes and vegetables and salads uh, tomorrow because I have a really busy week, so. Thank you guys all for your love, support, prayers. I will take all the prayers I can get. I'm continuing to pray for all of you because I know there's a lot going on in the world. Um, and, yeah, just keep, you know, keep me in your prayers because this upcoming surgery, is, it seems like it's coming really quick. Uh, so I do hope that you guys have a great, wonderful weekend. And I will be back with you guys probably either Friday or Sunday. So until then, have a great week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Let me just read some of these comments before I close out. Don't try to do too much. I tried to be superwoman after my brain surgery. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what my goal is to try not to get too crazy. Uh, Brenda says, have a great evening and prayers for speedy recovery. Thank you. Thank you. Brain surgery. That's nothing. Oh yeah, no. Um, Q Marco. Hey, I hope the surgery goes well. I hope your holidays go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John, I uh, have a very good evening. Good night. Good night. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for sharing your life. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, I appreciate you guys very much. Have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to you later. Bye.